Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to explore how we express the position, the velocity, and the acceleration of a particle moving along a curve in vector format. And particularly in this video, we're going to concentrate on the velocity vector. Now, usually, we have the exposition of a particle expressed in terms of the parametric variable t for time and y, both in the x direction and, of course, in the y direction as well such that the position vector can be expressed like this. The position vector is some function in the x direction that depends on time and some function that depends on time in the y direction as well. So the velocity vector can then be found by taking the derivative of both the x and the y component. Now let's come over here and see what that looks like graphically. First of all, we have a curve and let's say we're moving along the curve in this direction. We pick a point on the curve and we represent that by a position vector, starting from the origin to the point on the curve. Now the velocity at that point can be found by taking the derivative of the position vector. In other words, taking the derivative of the x component and the y component of the position vector. So we get velocity is equal to x prime in the i direction plus y prime in the j direction. If we do it that way, we end up with these two components of the velocity vector. If this black arrow right here represents the velocity vector as a function of t, then this here is the x component, and this here is the y component of the velocity vector, which are found by taking the x component of the position vector, taking the derivative of that, and the derivative of the y component of the position vector, which gives you these two components, add these two together, you get the velocity vector. But we can also express the velocity vector in terms of the magnitude of the velocity times the unit tangent vector. How do we do that? We do that as follows. First of all, the unit tangent vector is defined as the velocity vector divided by the magnitude of the velocity. In other words, we take the derivative of the position vector and we divide that by the magnitude of the derivative of the position vector. So we get the velocity vector divided by the magnitude of the velocity vector. And then we remember that ds dt, which means the, the velocity at which we move along the curve, which is ds dt, that's called the tangential velocity along the curve, can also be defined as the first derivative of the position vector, which means the velocity vector, and of course the magnitude thereof, because ds dt is a magnitude, it's not a vector quantity. So we take the derivative of the position vector and we take the absolute value of that or the absolute value of the velocity vector. So if we now plug that into this equation right here, so instead of writing the velocity vector divided by the magnitude of velocity vector, we're going to divide it by the ds dt, just like we did over here. And then if we solve that for the velocity vector, we get the velocity vector can be expressed in terms of ds dt, the rate of change of position along the curve with respect to time, multiply it times the unit tangent vector. And we have that here vectorially. If this represents the unit tangent vector, and this here is the magnitude of the velocity vector, we multiply the magnitude of the velocity vector, which is ds dt, times the unit vector, or the unit tangent vector, and we get the velocity vector out of that. Also remember that ds dt can be expressed as the square root as the sum of the squares of dx dt and dy dt. Of course, if you go from any one point on the curve to any other point on the curve, we have a small change in the x direction as with respect to time and a small change in the y direction with respect to time. So we have like a miniature triangle and so use Pythagorean theorem to relate the ds dt to dx dt and dy dt. Again, the x and the y, of course, are defined in our position vectors right here. So there's another way in which we, ex we can express the velocity vector. We can do it in terms of the x and y components. So the derivative of the x component of the position vector and the derivative of the y component of, of the position vector. Or we can express it in terms of ds dt, the speed at which we move along the curve, multiplied times the unit tangent vector. And that's how it's done. 